Good day, grade 9 student. Let's start the discussion of solving your quadratic equation by completing the square. So in the following video, you are going to understand further how are we going to solve your quadratic equation by completing the square. Let's take a look at the video. Let's have the discussion on how we're going to solve your quadratic equation by completing the square. If we have the example x squared minus 8x minus 6 equals 0. So since the given is already in standard form, we're going to transpose first your the value of your C. So we're going to have x squared minus 8x equals 6. So since we have already transposed the value of C, we're going to find the third term. Add it on both sides. So how are we going to find the third term? Our middle term is 8. We're going to divide this by 2. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. And 4 times 4 is 16. So we're going to add 16 on both sides. Plus 16 plus 16. So again, how did we get your 16? 8 divided by 2 is 4. And 4 times 4 is 16. So get the square binomial so we can factor this perfect square trinomial that is equivalent to square root of x squared is x minus the square root of 16 is 4 then squared equals 6 plus 16 is 22 so we can solve this now by complete uh, by uh, extracting the roots Get the square root of both sides. So we're going to have x minus 4 equals 22 is not a perfect square. So we're going to have positive and negative square root of 22. So that means the final answer of the value of x is transpose the value of your 4, 4 plus and minus square root of 22. So this is already the result since we cannot get the square root of your 22. Let's have another example. Let's say we are given with x squared equals 4x minus 3. So first, let's transpose the value of your uh, b and c to make it a standard form. So x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals 0. Since this is already in standard form, transpose natin si 3. So x squared minus 4x equals negative 3. We need to find the third term. So, x squared minus 4x, the third term will be 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So, plus 4 on both sides. So, negative 3 plus 4. And then, after that, we're going to get the square of binomial. So, x minus 2 squared equals negative 3 plus 4 is one. How did we get this one? The square root of x squared is x, the square root of 4 is 2, and the sign of the middle term is negative. Then, we're going to get the square root of both sides. The result will be, square root of x minus 2 will be x minus 2 equals the square root of 1 is positive and negative 1. Then, we're going to have x is equal to, we're going to transpose negative 2, that becomes positive 2. 
then just copy plus and minus 1. So, you're going to have two answers, x sub 1 and x sub 2. So, net 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. And then, 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. So, our the, the two values of x is 3 and 1. Let's have our third example. Do you have any question about that? Let's have a difficult example. Let's see. We're given with 2x squared minus 3x minus 1 equals 0. First, we divide first both all by 2. Okay. Kailangan kasi ang value ng x squared natin ay 1. So, we're going to have 2 divided by 2 is x squared. 3 over 2 x then minus 1 half equals 0. After that, we're going to transpose your 1 half. We're going to have x squared minus 3 over 2 x equals 1 half. The question is how we're going to find the third term. Since it's a fraction, if you're given is a fraction, you're just going to multiply it by 1 half, just like this. So, 3 over 2 times 1 half, the answer is 3 over 4. Then, we get the square of both sides. So, 3 times 3, that's 9. 4 times 4 is 16. So, you're going to add 9 over 16 on both sides. So, plus 9 over 16 plus 9 over 16. After that, we get the square binomial. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of 9 is 3. Square root of 16 is 4. The sign of the middle term is negative, then squared. Then, for our uh, fraction, so the LCD of 2 and 16 is 16. So, you're going to have 16, divide, and then multiply. Again, divide, and then multiply. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Times 1 is 8. Then, 16 divided by 16 is 1. Then, 1 times 9 is 9. Did you get that part? Then, we're going to have x minus 3 over 4 squared equals 8 plus 9 is 17 over 16. Then, we get the square root of both sides. So, you're going to have x minus 3 fourths. Your 17 is an irrational number, so that's positive and negative square root of 17. All over, square root of 16 is 4. Then, just simply transpose our 3 fourths. We're going to have x equals, this will become positive, 3 fourths, plus and minus square root of 17, all over 4. And this is our final answer.